don't get to capture many life-affirming, life-defining moments on film, but this is one of them. I had this connection with the ocean. Pedal boarding, it's what keeps me alive. It's what keeps me focused. It's what keeps me grounded. I knew that this was where I was going to turn my life around. Early 2008, I woke up, completely pitch black room. I had a bottle of pills, that was gonna be it. And the phone rings. And out of nowhere, it's, it's my mother calling me. And I told her, I said, I, I'm not doing good. And she says, this scares me. You need to get up, you need to get out and do something right now because I don't think I'm gonna have a son. And that's what I did. And I said to myself that day, I'm either gonna make this happen or I'm gonna be dead within the year. This was it for me. So there is Canada. I'm about to enter the straight US side, Canada side. What if I were to paddle the entire West Coast from Canada to Mexico? <laughs> I must be crazy. Oh, sweet. 1,386 miles total over a period of 58 days. I thought every single day I was gonna make it. But the biggest thing I remembered was that I'm doing this to raise awareness for anxiety, depression. This is much bigger than what I'm feeling. This is much bigger than this moment that I'm in right now. The very final day getting into the Mexican border fence, it's really surreal. The border patrol won't let you take a board right up there by the fence, so I had to surf in about 100 yards north of that fence and then put the board on my head and run the board the remaining 100 yards. First stand-up paddle from Canada to Mexico. There's nothing more courageous than finding yourself in what could be a ruin. And depression almost took me to that place where it was an easy out. Being courageous is staying steadfast, living your life no matter what the course.